These are really sweet. I'm going to be picking some of these raspberries and then I'm going to put a quick little fence around that tomato patch back there. I'm literally just standing in one spot and not moving and picking so many berries. I've got a little bowl full, but they're, they're absolutely covered. And they're kind of, I wouldn't, they're not difficult to pick, but they're kind of hard to see some of them because they're up and underneath the leaves and you really got to look for them or else you miss quite a few. I noticed that like on raspberries and blackberries, you get those little tiny, tiny, tiny orange bugs. I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, a lot of times I'll just I'll just eat the raspberry off the vine, but uh, I see those little orange bugs and I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm just gonna let off. I'm gonna take them inside and soak them, um, maybe in a little bit of vinegar water. Or um, I know that if you have vegetables or or fruit that have worms on them, that salt water. Can, soak them in salt well, not for too long obviously because if you soak them in salt water too long they're gonna be salty uh, but just a little bit and that will draw that draws the bugs out but I think what I'm gonna do with this first round is just wash them and then let them dry off on a towel for a little bit and then freeze them I'm also seeing a lot of these little um they're like inchworms on there not I'm not sure if they're damaging to the plant, if they're just on there eating the berries or just hanging out. I'm gonna pick some more of these and see how many that I can get. These are really sweet. I don't remember what variety they are. I think they're just a heritage raspberry. But check this out. This is asparagus that I've let go to seed. Look at those big fruit seed pods they've put off. I'll let them reseed, but I also want to save some of these. Or maybe just make sure that they drop in the right place. Some of these have ants on them, some of them have worms on them, but I don't spray anything and I like it that way. So there are going to be bugs, so I just have to inspect them or just deal with it and eat the extra protein. Some of these are so soft, like so ripe when you pull them off. That one, mm -mm, see, look at this. That one's so mushy. It's got a... A worm inside of there. It's good to inspect your berries as you're eating them because I wouldn't want to eat that worm. I'll just toss it over there for the ducks. 
there's plenty enough to go around. You kind of have a couple day window before they get too soft to eat, but that one's about perfect. And then when they're not quite right, they you'll know, like that one's not ready. It's not wanting to come off. But this one's, this is one of the really soft ones. Let's see. You might, you might eat it. It might be too far gone. You just inspect it, make sure there's no worms in there and you could eat it. That one's perfect. I haven't done any pruning or anything to these just because I haven't quite learned how. Uh oh, that one wasn't quite ready so you pulled the whole cluster off. I started researching a little bit about pruning berry bushes and I'm going to attempt to do that this season. This raspberry patch has just kind of done its own little thing and it's still producing but there is a lot that has uh, stopped producing and we gotta get all that dead stuff out. And then all of this over here, these are the new canes and they should produce raspberries if not later this season, then next season. And then all of this should probably be cut down so that these over here will produce. I believe that's how it goes. This was all grown from one department store raspberry. Raspberries can be considered invasive in some places, but I like, I like whenever things that provide us food have an invasive quality, not necessarily harmfully invasive, but definitely provide abundance. And these here, our gooseberries. As you can see how the raspberries on that side of the fence have put out runners over here on this side of the fence. And we'll have to either dig this up and start a new raspberry patch somewhere else or just cut it down. If you don't take care of the raspberry patch, it will absolutely take over in ideal conditions. Look at those. That one needs to go to the ducks. See? Here's the difference between one that's pretty perfect and one that's a little too far gone. The one to the right's pretty perfect. This one over here, it um, has started to rot and it's definitely got worms in there eating on it. So, put the good one in there. Throw the other ones to the birds. I don't want the geese and ducks to find out that this raspberry patch is over here. Or that the gooseberries are, because they do call them gooseberries for a reason. I don't know that reason, but I would assume that it's because it's perfect height for the geese to come over here and feast. Now, these aren't quite ripe. Uh, some of them are just starting to turn color. And like, this one might be kind of, sort of, ripe. I don't love the little tail that gooseberries have. They have an odd texture. They kind of taste like a mixture between a grape and a kiwi. And they definitely burst in your mouth like a grape. That one was pretty sweet. We've never made anything like dessert wise with gooseberries. We just have them planted because we had them available. They do really well in our area, but it's loaded. It's loaded so much that the plant is falling over to the ground. Here's what I got from those. Not trying to super hard. The rest of them weren't quite ready, but there's going to be several that'll be ready tomorrow. But I have another little patch over here that's completely grown up right next to the building. And there's some different varieties over here. There's ones that we were picking. Heritage, red raspberry, and then I've also got some golden. And then my favorite ones, which have, don't judge my, my weeds here. Uh, I do have some thornless ones that aren't, they're a later bearing one that are back towards the back. Those are my favorite. And I really have got to take better care of this little area over here so that they can do better. Watching for snakes. So I'm gonna pick these gold ones now. There weren't very many, 
A lot of them are too ripe. They're smaller. And I feel like they're not as sweet, but you got a different flavor. You stay away from my raspberries. You stay away from my raspberries, Lana. Go. Go on. Go. Hi. Go. Please. Go. Lemon. You're persistent today. Go. Are you mean? Stop. That's enough. Usually, he will go on. There he goes. Just shove him pretty far. You should come back over here. A lot of times, I'll just let him come mingle with me. He doesn't bother me, but I'm wearing sandals and he likes to nibble my toes. I know there's several back in here. I cannot reach. That's a pretty good haul for one day. Just so that these don't go bad, I think I'm gonna rinse them off, pop them in the freezer. I'm going to take a little extra hog fence I have and throw it around the garden so that those ducks do not get in my mom's tomato patch. A little update on these raised beds. I'm gonna take y'all's advice and I'm going to get a couple bags of peat moss and I'm gonna dig up what I can and kind of mix in the peat moss. The only thing that upsets me if I do that is I do have carrots that have germinated pretty well in these beds so I might try to work around those or just I don't know yet how I'm gonna do it. But I'm gonna attempt to kind of aerate it with some other stuff. extra hog fence that I have and just go around the tomato garden to keep the ducks and geese out of it. I've got a fence around my garden over here and then the one that I've planted over there with potatoes and sunflowers in it that I, I mean it's already established the ducks are not the ducks are definitely not bothering that. They're not gonna be digging potatoes so <laughs> that's fine. I had something get into my tomato plants that I do believe was a deer. So that's why I got the fence up around the whole garden. I'll update you guys on the raised beds in a few days. Thanks for watching. Bye.